everyone, I have a giant suitcase of Sailor Moon merchandise from Japan. I just got back from my trip. I'm a little bit jet lagged, but I wanted to show you what I got and unbox all of my goodies so that I can empty out my suitcase for my next trip. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, this is a bag of holding. Like I was able to fit so much stuff in here. So if you want one of these, it's from Away. I will put my direct link down below in case you wanna grab one for yourself. Okay, so I have my entire suitcase laid out over here next to me and I wanted to go ahead and just break into it. Things are kind of cluttered in here. It is a bag of holding. Nothing makes sense in terms of where I got it or in what general vicinity of Tokyo I got these items from. So everything's just kind of crammed into my suitcase as best as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. This is from Mandrake. Uh, this is actually a pencil holder for school kids, but I really liked it. I thought it was made very nicely. It's kind of poofy, which is really interesting. I'll have to open this on a separate video, maybe on my Instagram page, but this is a vintage piece and it's from Sailor Moon Stars and it has Chibi Chibi on it, which is kind of rare for merchandise. So very cool, thought it was lovely, decided to grab it. Something I haven't collected much of are these girls' memories figures. So I grabbed a whole slew of them when I saw them at different vintage stores, especially around Akihabara. Uh, here's two of them. I got the pearlescent Sailor Moon and Artemis. I don't have either of those. And these are just ones that have been out for forever. They're really inexpensive, very easy to collect if you are in Japan. Here's Sailor Moon and Sailor Jupiter. So if you're looking to start your collection with figures, especially chibi figures, uh, these ones are pretty inexpensive. Here's a really beautiful Princess Serenity and I also found Sailor Venus. I already have a few of those, so I'm just kind of rounding out my collection collection slowly, but they aren't a major priority for me. But these are a pair of candles. They do say Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal, and they smell really good. They are definitely very floral. I can't wait to light these. Should I light them? Should I just like never light them? This keychain was from the Sailor Moon store. I don't have a lot of miniaturely tablets, but these ones were so pretty in person, I just couldn't help myself. They were also at the Sailor Moon store. I got some very cute washi tape. I'm very glad that I ended up grabbing this stationery because all of the new stationery sold out so fast while I was in Japan. So I grabbed these two cable holders because I love cable holders. I also picked up these two super shiny Luna and Artemis Kirakira Otedamas because they're so cute. These mirrors are both from the Sailor Moon Museum. Very easy to pick up and Really beautiful, so shiny and so pretty. I love little mirrors, these are great for purses. Just a few other small merch items like this masking tape, super pretty and very cute. This was from the Sailor Moon Museum. This is, I believe this is hand cream. Yes, it's hand cream. Didn't wanna ship it, but figured if I saw it there, I would buy it. A few other little Sailor Moon Museum items. These are just little notes. This is a lip balm and then we have a sticker. I love these coasters and I'm so glad that I was able to take these home and none of them broke. These are really, really nice coasters. These were just some vintage stickers that I found at Mandrake. Love holographic stickers. My friend from Tokyo, he always gives me his extra Sailor Moon fan club items. So this is the newest pin. And I actually made a friend at the museum because I pointed out how much I liked her Ita bag. She had an Ita bag with Mercury and Jupiter pins and a couple of little uh, little hangers on them. I took a picture, I'll post it here, but they were so cute and she was so nice and she didn't speak a lick of English. I didn't speak a lick of Japanese, except for like the very, very rudimentary Japanese that I know to like introduce myself. So we were using Google Translate to talk to each other and she was so nice. We friended each other on Twitter and then I told her that one of my favorites is Sailor Mars. So she pulled this out of her bag and gave it to me. Like how crazy is that, that you can meet somebody who you don't speak their language, but you can translate enough to tell them like, we have a similar fandom, this is my favorite character. And then she just happened to have this on her. It almost felt like the universe was pulling us together and making sure that we would know each other. Like how cool is that? I, I don't know, it just felt like, it felt like the timeliness of that meeting was so perfect. This is a very cute can that was available at the Sailor Moon store. And I'm kind of glad I picked this up. This is a folding mirror. It's made out of this like fake leather material. It's really nicely made actually. And um, I'm glad I grabbed this because my hotel in Japan did not have a mirror with a plug near it. So I had to use this little thing 
after the day I bought it to straighten my hair in front of a mirror and do my makeup in front of a mirror. So <laughs> I was kind of stuck without a mirror when I was trying to like beautify and it was it was a pain in the butt. So I'm glad I picked up that mirror. And these are a couple of handkerchiefs that I picked up at Mandrake. I will open these later and show you on Instagram. I saw a pair of fluffy socks. I had to get the fluffy socks. They're from the Sailor Moon Museum and they have a moon on the front because these are the Sailor Moon socks. More just rounding out collection items when I haven't completed an entire line. I have the Chibi Moon mug that looks just like this. So I picked up the Sailor Moon one as well to complete that little dual collection. This item I saw online and I had no clue what it was until I saw it in person. This is actually a stainless steel holder that you can put bottles in. So this is supposed to be for either short bottles or tall bottles, short cans, tall cans. You can put them in here and keep them cold for a series of time. I picked this up at Kitty Land. They had tons of them in stock and I really like the art on here. It's so cute. Look at that adorable art. Oh, I love it. That's definitely me when I'm in Japan. I'm in Tokyo and going shopping. That's that's totally me. So the nice thing is if you put a bottle, like a bottle of water in here, it has this opening at the top so you can still unscrew it and drink out of it. Oh no, my cookie broke. That's okay. According to Sailor Tortilla, who I finally met in person, she's amazing. We're totally gonna be besties from here on out. I had so much fun hanging out with her. If you haven't seen Sailor Tortilla's YouTube channel, check it out. She's also on Instagram, just like I am. She does pretty similar content, but she's so funny. I, I just love her takes on everything. So she's a great person, great person. Highly recommend you subscribe. Uh, she said that these cookies were absolutely horrible. She tried hers. I haven't opened mine yet. I'll try them later. These are from the Sailor Moon Museum. I mean, they look good, but apparently they're just good for like pictures. So that one broke, this one's still full. So I'll probably just use this one for photos. I guess I have to like force myself to eat the Chibi Moon one though. Now I did get some Shu Uemura collaboration makeup. I will do a separate review of all of these products because I have most of this stuff that I ordered from here in America. And also mainly just because I have not been collecting them very much and I saw them available and they were cheap. I ended up getting some of these miniaturely tablets. I don't have any of these but I grabbed these since I saw them in person and they were there. So that's basically the only reason I grabbed them. They're cute. It's really easy to collect them and they're inexpensive. So why not? This is a beautiful nail oil set that I also uh, was gifted by a friend. I wanted to show you these because they're so pretty. So unfortunately, this is one of those things that's kind of hard to ship overseas because it's a nail oil like perfume and they have issues with certain kinds of liquids, but the bottles are so pretty. They actually work really well as nail oils for your cuticles. So I'm definitely gonna test these out and let you know. But if you do see these in like Mandrake or anything, you could definitely bring them home in your luggage, no problem. So Sailor Moon perfume is also one of those things that's very hard to ship overseas. But if you can find the Sailor Moon perfume in Japan, you can put it in your checked luggage, no problem, even if it's over three ounces. So this is a perfume from the Sailor Moon store. While I was in Japan, they did sell out of the stock that they did have available there. I don't know the scents or the notes. I will definitely test it out and let y'all know. But the box that this comes in is so beautiful. The actual perfume jar that it comes in is really gorgeous too. Uh, nothing too exciting, just a little pouch that I picked up because I love pouches. This is another pencil holder. Uh, this one has very interesting art on it. Uh, I need to look up the art director for this because this art is very unique. And then the back also has this really pretty art. That's also a vintage piece from Mandrake. I haven't even posted about this yet on Instagram, but I went to Small Worlds Tokyo. That was kind of a random thing. It was very short and sweet, but they do have some really cute merchandise. This is a very nice Tanugui from Small Worlds Tokyo that features Luna and Artemis on it. It also has the logo for Small Worlds up here. Uh, if you haven't seen Small Worlds, I will be posting some Instagram photos and videos from that collaboration. It's actually really pretty. It's kind of worth it if you just happen to be in the Odaiba area of Tokyo, uh, but it is very small. So it's, it's not something that you would spend all day doing. I don't know why I collect these, but I do tissues. These are vintage tissues. 
from Andrake. <laughs> Not much to say about that. This is a tote bag that was also from Small Worlds. It's basically a crystal palace type of print. It has this really beautiful print of Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion on it, as well as Crystal Tokyo. Um, no surprise, another pouch. But it's cool, it has like glitter in there. It's pretty. I think it's pretty. It says Moon Crisis Makeup. And one of the coolest finds, I do have a few grails in here that I was able to find while I was in Japan, is this gorgeous, gorgeous vintage wand. And it's in working condition. It works. The box looks very, very good. It looks really beautiful. There's only a few little creases and like a few little wears and tears up at the top, but overall this box looks excellent. It doesn't smell like smoke or anything. It's not discolored. You can tell up here that it still has a really beautiful shine to it, so it hasn't been dulled. It was about 20,000 yen, but given the current exchange rate, I was able to get this for like, what, 160 bucks or something? So that's not bad for a vintage sailor moon wand and given that they've already tested it and i know that it's in really really good condition this was a must-have so i picked this up from mandrake and this was definitely one of the grails that i was like i must have it i need to have it give it to me now so yeah if you go to mandrake and you see an empty space in one of the cases that could hold this one that was because of me that was only half of the suitcase y'all this side does not have as many items but they're all really large items so Let's go into it. I got a giant Sailor Moon Otedama. She's like a Squishable, but Sailor Moon style. Why doesn't Squishable do a collaboration with Sailor Moon? Y'all, we need to get on that. She's cute. She's available at the Sailor Moon store. They had tons of them. I picked up pretty much every single postcard that the Sailor Moon Museum had available. I was very excited to see these, so I grabbed as many as I could. Postcards are such a small, item to collect. They're really easy to collect. They're inexpensive. So it's a great way to just like round out your collection and pick up some really cool art. These clips sold out almost immediately. This is part of the new stationery line and I wanted to get the outers. I didn't really care about the other ones, but I wanted the outers most. They're just little clips for papers. And this is brand new, uh, but it is available online. So I have been ordering this for folks. Uh, this is the 2023 desk calendar and it's made out of acrylic really really pretty cosmos edition of sailor moon printed on there and each of the dates is color coded very cute i love it and i'm really digging the art on here so i wanted to grab one i also ended up getting princess serenity the new doll she's so cute she just came out she's just shipping in tokyo or in japan i was very very lucky and fortunate to be there when i was able to pick this up so i'm so happy to have her I actually have an extra one, so I'm going to do an unboxing and a full review of this doll. I'll keep one in box and then unbox the other one. I think she's so pretty. She's so cute. And she matches the one from the Sailor Moon Museum that's coming out again in December if I'm posting this early enough. If not, there is a silver hair version, but she's much more rare. I do have that one as well. I did pick up a few cute poskets that are officially available in Japan. These are the A version of each of the princess cute poskets. Uh, these are just a few of the ones that are now available in Japan. They're not available in the US yet. I saw them and I was like, I might as well get them. Save myself the shipping. So I got Neptune, Uranus, and Princess Jupiter. They're so pretty. I will have a full video of like my entire Q-Posket collection. That's one of my goals going into 2023 is to catch up on all these videos I've promised y'all. There's a lot. There's a lot of unopened boxes in this room, like those, those right there. <laughs> I'm actually almost done with my entire suitcase. I can't believe I've unboxed this entire thing. I saw this online and I really like the art style. So I wanted to snag this while it was available at Mandrake. So this is a Sailor Moon World calendar. It's a wall calendar. And the art on here is so pretty. It's from 2002. So obviously the dates are not going to be accurate for 2023, but every month has different art on here. And the art is just so stunning. Like, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I loved it. I thought it was so cool and I love that it's vintage and I love that it's kind of small. So I should probably be able to fit it in my collection room on the wall, just to kind of show off this calendar. Uh, it's a brand new calendar too, even though it's wrapped up, it looks like nobody ever used it. So 
I'm pretty excited about this little find. I thought it was really gorgeous. Do you wanna see the art from every month of this calendar? Let me know. I could totally show you and go through them all on like a little Instagram video. I feel like I should just do that for like all of these little items because it's probably not enough for a big YouTube video to do a review of like all these separate items, but I could absolutely do that on like little Instagram videos. That would be so simple and like really, really fun to do. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. This was another grail find that I found. Huh. Now this is the reprint. This is the reissue. It's not the original vintage one from the 1990s, but as y'all know, I've pretty much caught up on everything that has come out from 2010 to 2023 this year. So I'm working my way backwards. I'm I'm starting to get more of like the Sailor Moon World items. I'm getting more of the items from like the 2000s to the early 2010s. And I'm also working on the vintage items from the 1990s. So I'm kind of filling in my collection for the previous releases now that I've caught up with everything else. So this is one of those items. It was again a reissue, but it's in working condition. The box looks really nice. And the moon stick itself is in very, very good quality, very good condition. It is supposed to be working. So I will be testing this and making sure that it works and everything is good to go, but it looks wonderful. I love the display piece and I love the box that it comes in. I did pick up the miniaturely tablet moon castle accessory stand. This was available at Mandrake. It just happened to be there. I really wanted to get it since I'm starting to get all the little miniaturely tablets and I figured I should display them on the actual castle stand. It was kind of pricey, but again, that exchange rate totally helps when it comes to that. I have two more big items and I believe the rest is stationary. So this was a wonderful find. I was so happy I found this. As y'all know, you can find the more common statue of this that is not pearlescent, but this is the Ichiban Kuji special color. It's the last one prize. So my box did get a little bit squished, but that's fine. I checked the figure itself. It looks totally cool, so she's good to go. But this is the pearlescent version. I happened to find this in a random store in Akihabara. It was on the back shelf at the very bottom, and there were only like three Sailor Moon items next to it. I saw it, and it was only 4,300 yen. Can you believe that? Like I've seen this online go for like 7,500 yen, $75 here in the US, hundred bucks here in the US. I've seen it as low as like $60, but that's about as low it, as it goes. 4,300 yen. That exchange rate makes this like $37, $38, maybe less than that. So that's a great price for this statue. Very, very happy I found this. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it and I was like, that's mine. I'm taking this home. <laughs> And this was another really surprising find, but something that I'm so happy that I grabbed. So I randomly walked into this teeny tiny used toy store in Akihabara and in like one of the back cases, they had Sailor Moon items. They only had a few items that I'd be interested in, but this was one of them because the box is almost brand new. This is almost in mint condition. I don't see any sun damage. The, the box has never been opened. So this is a Sailor Star, I think this is Hira. Yeah, this looks like Sailor Star Healer. This is a Sailor Star Healer doll that they came out with back in the 90s. Totally random, but I just love that this box is in such good condition. Like that's so hard to find when it comes to vintage toys. And I was so surprised that this guy had it and for a relatively good price, I mean, very surprising, very, very surprising. So when I saw this, I was like, I kinda, I kinda gotta get it because that's gonna be a rare find to find something in such good condition. That was crazy. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up with my stationary items. I have several items in here. There's the acrylics from the Sailor Moon Museum. I already have the other one, so I didn't get that one. I also got a series of really cute stickers. These are all the new stationary stickers that were available at the Sailor Moon store. I got all of them. I'm glad I did too, because these sold out really fast. Everybody wanted the stationary. These are two mini clear files. They're cool because they have 
glitter inside of them. And this one with the kitties, it's really cool. And then these are two postcard sets for the 30th anniversary, and they do have gold foil on them. They come with every single one of the Sailor Guardians. I also picked up the new stationary pouches. These pouches are really nice, very pretty. And these are either really large Cardus cards or they are pencil boards. So I got three of these from Mandrake. These were from Nakano Broadway. And this one is a pencil board. I just love the art on here. Pencil boards are another one of those items that's easy to collect. This I was so excited to find because I've been wanting it for a long time and I just haven't put in the work to find one. They're kind of hard to find. You like have to look in the right spots at Mandrake, but you can find these. This is actually a illustration collection by Hisashi Kagawa, who is one of the art directors for Sailor Moon. They've done several in several episodes of Sailor Moon. So this is a short, but really, really complimentary and really beautiful illustration booklet with all the different Sailor Senshi. And there's a lot of art in here that is kind of rare to see. So I was very excited to see it in person and be able to grab one of these books for my own collection. I think a lot of people probably skip that because they don't know who that art director is. They don't know who the artist is, but since they worked on Sailor Moon, the original anime, I was like, I, I must have that. Clear file from the Sailor Moon Museum. It also came with a mini clear file. <laughs> this is a doujinshi book. It's from Manjake. It was cheap and I really liked the cover. I thought it was very pretty. I will show off the inside of that on Instagram. More stationery. This is just a lovely notebook. I love this piece, it's so pretty. This you can actually put like tickets in or your mask. It's just a little clear file holder. A couple of clear files from the newest stationery set. Very cute, very pretty. Sold out really fast. Hopefully they restock those. This is a large poster, but it shows a whole bunch of the cards on it. So it's like a promotional collector's poster in case you're looking for collecting all the cards from any of the issues. So this is a vintage piece again. Some more clear files. This one is from the store, very cute for the fifth anniversary. And this one is from the 30th anniversary of Sailor Moon. It's got beautiful art on it. It's a gorgeous clear file. I also grabbed this entire set of clear files. These are for the 30th anniversary. Uh, these are extremely popular right now. So a lot of people are purchasing them from the Sailor Moon store, as well as the museum. They actually stock these at the museum as well. Very pretty. Look at Sailor Saturn, she's so cute. And we have Uranus and last but not least, or maybe she is least, Chibi, Chibi Moon. A dual clear file from the museum. And <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's like a balloon bag. I, just saw, I saw it at Mandrake. I like the art. I was like, ah, yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> and it was cheap. <laughs> Sometimes you pick up like weird promo stuff and you're like, you know, I don't need that, but I'm gonna get it anyway. And I got some handkerchiefs as well as a couple of little hand towels. So here's a handkerchief from Mandrake. Here's another one. I do collect these, they're very inexpensive. A couple of really cute hand towels. I love this one because it looks like My Little Pony or Rainbow Bright. It's so fun. This one's very cute. I like the art. And I got a Sailor Pluto hand towel for the next time I go to Japan because a lot of the air dryers in the bathrooms, uh, they don't have turned on. They also don't have like paper towels for you to dry your hands with. So you have to use your own hand towel if you intend to wash your hands and dry your hands off. This poster was a random find, but it's something that I wanted to eventually find. I just wasn't necessarily looking for, uh, but this was kind of on my list. It was on my wish list, and I just happened to find it at Mandrake and they did not have it listed online. I was happy to find this. And the very last item, that I wanted to show you. This is the grail of my trip to Japan. I got an animation cell of Sailor Saturn. She is so beautiful and I got this for such a great price. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so happy that I found this. She's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just totally obsessed with this beautiful piece of art. So that's gonna go in a very nice frame or I'm going to put it somewhere very secure so that nothing happens to it because it was, it, was it was still pricey, it was the most expensive thing I bought, but I saved a lot of money by just buying it in Japan as opposed to finding it on eBay or Mercari or Zen Market because those things are overpriced on the internet. Okay, 
That's it, let's go over to some bags. So along with the suitcase, I also have a couple of tote bags that are filled with other non-Sailor Moon related items. I wanted to show you those as well because they are all around similar fandoms. Luckily, I thought ahead when I went to Japan and I actually brought a gym bag to fill with items as well, which is good because even though my suitcase is a bag of holding, I did run out of room. <laughs> so I went to the Nintendo store because I'm a huge fan of Legend of Zelda. So I ended up getting this really cute tote bag. It's not real leather. It was about 50 bucks or so, but it does have some metal bullets on the bottom to help you keep it stood up straight whenever you set it down on a table. And it's also very pretty. I love the print on the front and I thought it was really gorgeous. So I wanted to grab this tote bag. I also got some really cute little items as well. This sticker set was super cute and it's for sale in Japan only apparently. So I wanted to grab this sticker set. I thought it was very pretty. I got this shirt in a medium from the Nintendo store as well. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy any of their shirts because they tend to be overpriced, but it's a really nice thick material. It's not like a regular Gildan shirt and it's very soft. So I like the material. I like how it's made and I feel like it's a little bit more high quality in terms of t-shirts go. And I also love that print of Zelda on the front. It's very pretty. This is just a little makeup bag. I had to get it. It was super cute. And there's a little Triforce on the zipper pull. How cute is that? Very pretty rupees printed on the front. And they're also kind of a textured material. This will be a nice bag for whenever I'm traveling or on the go. It can fit all sorts of things inside of it. These are actually a gift from my husband. We can't tell anybody. When the Nintendo store first opened, they came out with all of these really cute figures and everybody wasn't sure if they were going to be limited edition or not. So everybody wanted to purchase one. Uh, luckily I did pick one up. It did come in a really cool cylindrical case that kind of would be great for display. But unfortunately, given I didn't have a lot of space to work with, I decided to just toss that and keep the figure alone. So I will be displaying this outside of the cylindrical figure case that it came in. But I love Link. He is one of my very first like video game crushes. I love his style and I love this outfit. This tunic is so cool and I really like how it's made. It's like very, very high quality. It looks really good. There's a lot of detail going into this figure. So I'm gonna put this on my set for my tech YouTube channel. I think it'll fit in really well. Can you blame me? Link is cute, okay? One of my very kind friends over in Tokyo hooked me up with some stickers that he got through his Nintendo account. So apparently they give these away to you for free at the Nintendo store if you have an account with them, which I don't, but I thought these stickers were so cool and Zelda is my favorite, so I love these stickers. So thank you to my friend for giving me those. Lastly, y'all know I am a huge enamel pin collector, so I did get a bunch of pins starting with this one, a very, very beautiful picture of the logo with the Triforce seal. Then of course we have Link's shield. We have one of the Korok faces. I thought it was so cute. And I wanted to get a life heart. I like how shiny the red part is in the heart here. And it's a full heart. Anybody who's played Zelda games understands the importance of the full hearts. Just a couple of keychains that I wanted to grab as well. I really like this silver one with the Z for Zelda. And then of course we have the sword running through it very pretty and it also has this black leather background to it and a master key this is so cool it's really really heavy like very high quality and like you could probably smack somebody with this thing it's so heavy but i really like this metal quality i thought it looked good and it's a master key so like if i'm carrying this around without the zelda tote bag you really got to know what zelda is to know exactly what the keychain is this cute little tote bag i bought was something very particular in mine i like to go to a lot of farmers markets over the summer and this would be perfect for holding like produce and veggies and things of that nature there's two pieces to it there's an interior full bag that has the printing of the Korok faces and the exterior bag is the netting piece. So they can become separate. So you can take them apart or you can leave them together. And I think it looks really nice. It looks very nice and high quality and it's a big enough bag for produce. And for that bag, I grabbed three super cute little keychains of these three characters. Here we go. Aren't they cute? Look how adorable they are. Was anybody like obsessing over finding all those like little Korok seeds. I think they're called Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild, like I was. I was obsessed with finding all of those. 
Like I'm pretty sure in my current save game, I don't have all of them, so I'm still searching. But these are so cute. I thought they would look really adorable hanging off of this little netting bag that I can use at the farmer's markets. So that was everything from the Nintendo store. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Zelda, if it's not obvious. Let's move on. Is anybody else familiar with this brand? I just discovered them while I was in Japan. I looked them up on Instagram. They are on Instagram. The name of this artist is Mofusand. You can find them on Instagram and see all their really cute art, but I thought it was so funny and it just makes you go, what's going on there? So really, really cute art. I got this tote bag at Kitty Land. I also grabbed a matching keychain because how could I not? I mean, is this not the most cutest thing ever? It's so cute. Like seriously, how cute is this art? I love these little sushi kitties. They're so adorable. Pokemon, I'm not a big fan of Pokemon. I used to be, I used to be way into it, but not as much anymore. I do have a couple of nephews that I hit up the Pokemon store for, so I was there anyway. So I ended up getting this really cute, what does it even say? Christmas Toy Factory. Christmas Toy Factory enamel pen. And I got this really cute little drawstring bag. I feel like this version of, what is it, Ponita? I feel like this Pokemon is my spirit animal. Like their hair matches my hair and it's just like, it's meant to be. So I had to get this. <laughs> it was the only thing with that Pokemon that I could find at the Pokemon store. Uh, my friend also hooked me up with this really, really cute Tokyo Graffiti Pikachu. I believe was limited edition to one of the Pokemon centers in Tokyo. Uh, this is a local Tokyo artist that created this graffiti art on this Pikachu. This is again, one of those things that people thought would be limited edition. Scalpers went crazy on this thing and then they ended up reprinting it. So I was able to grab one of these from my friend. He gifted it to me and I love it. It's so cute and I love that it's supporting a artist in Tokyo. I think that's really, really cool that they did a collaboration with an artist. I was near Nakano Broadway and this guy was selling these really cute chopstick holders. So I grabbed one. It's a little kitty. It's a kitty chopstick holder. He had a whole bunch of different kinds and I like this one. I thought she was so adorable with the little stripes. If you saw my Instagram, you also know I went to a VIP party at the La Forêt shopping mall, which which is where the Sailor Moon store is. So I was able to grab some limited edition items from the store. I'll show you those next while I was there. This is one of the items that they were giving out. It's just a simple mask, but it says La Forêt uh, private party on the front of it. So I made sure to bring it home just as a memory. I do collect Starbucks mugs and cups, and I also collect the little ornaments. And I'm glad I grabbed this because, so after the day I saw this in stock at the Starbucks near my hotel, they sold out the next day. So I'm glad that I was able to grab one of these really cute little ornaments. It says Japan on the front of it with some little Sakura flowers. On the back of it, we have a sumo wrestler. There's some fish and there's a bunch of other little Japanese icons on this ornament. So it'll match my other Christmas tree ornaments for sure. And these two Starbucks mugs actually look almost exactly alike. They're just themed around different seasons. So I'll show you the fall season one first. It has a little nickel, Japan, Mount Fuji. We have some really pretty fall leaves, more Japanese icons on here. And then we have the sumo wrestler and some food, ginkgo leaf. Very pretty. They're actually machine washable, which I can't say for most Sailor Moon mugs. This one is more maybe winter, but it does have Sakura on it. So I'm not really sure. This might be their like non-seasonal mug. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's spring, who knows? But we also have the little kitty Mount Fuji on there. It says Japan. Then on the back we have some really cute icons for Japan as well. Another very cute Starbucks mug. Nice thing about these is no matter which country you go to, they will fit inside each other. So like I have Colorado mugs, they will fit in their stackable on top of each other. So they don't take up a lot of room. Now I mentioned Sailor Moon store. There's a bunch of stuff in here from the Sailor Moon store, as well as a few other places that I found Sailor Moon merchandise at. So these are just the like last remaining items that I had that I couldn't fit into my suitcase. So let's go ahead and go through them. Now, if I have any duplicates in here, I will be sure to post those on my Sailor Snubs sales Instagram page so you can pick them up and you don't have to pay Japanese shipping or anything. 
some of these were random items from the Sailor Moon store. Some were gifts from my friends in Tokyo. And then I also picked up a few extra items as well because I wasn't sure if I had pre-ordered them or not. So if I did, I will sell my duplicates because normally I don't keep duplicates in my collection back here. The first item I wanted to show you are these three jewelry pieces, which are the reward if you sign up for the Pretty Guardians fan club. Now you can sign up for international or the Japanese one. I have done tutorials on both of those. My friend in Tokyo does have a Japanese fan club account. So whenever he gets items that he's not giving to any local friends, he gives them to me. So, so here's one of the rewards. It's super pretty. Oh, these are the charms. I believe these came out mm, last year. Maybe these are a bunch of really cute little mini charms that came from the Pretty Guardian fan club. This was also a sign up bonus. And I think this is this year's, yes, this is this year's sign up bonus. This is really pretty. It's a silver necklace of the Moonstick. And you'll notice up here at the top, there's a really pretty iridescent crystal to clasp it behind your neck. It's a very, very pretty piece. Definitely keeping that, that is gorgeous. So thank you to my local friend. I appreciate these so much. These are also some of the sign on bonuses from the Pretty Guardian fan club. So here we have the card file. Those are really useful for the membership cards, by the way. This is a stationery set. It's a reprint of the old Nakayoshi stationery set. And then these are newsletters, which I have shown you previously on my channel. I like the newsletters. I think they're really cool. It's kind of insightful too, because you get to see like what's going on in Japan in terms of the fan club. And sometimes there's some really interesting photos and interviews in those too. Of course, with those, everything is written in Japanese. So you do have to translate it yourself if you want to read the newsletters. I picked up this girl, which later I figured out I have pre-ordered her. So I will probably resell the one that I picked up, but this is the Eternal Figu Arts Mini. She is so, so pretty, really, really cute. This is number 100 of the Figu Arts minis. I believe I'm still waiting on my pre-order, so I might keep this one and just sell the one that comes in later because this one is the original Japanese release. It's not the international ones. She's so cute. This was another gift from a friend. This was the maquillage. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but this is a makeup set and I love the casing for this set. It's really beautiful. This is probably the cutest Otedama couple that I have seen come out this year. They're adorable. This is the sleeping on a futon. It's so cute. <laughs> Usagi and Luna side by side. They are adorable. So cute. It even has the bedspread print for the little futon set that they're sleeping in and their eyes are closed and they're just sleeping next to each other. It is so adorable. I love how this is made and I can see why it's so popular. I'm not going to open this one because it is an extra. I did pre-order it. I checked online. See, this is what happens. I go to Japan and I go, did I already buy that thing? And then I buy it there. And then I come back home and I check my emails and I go, oh, I did already buy it. <laughs> but that's okay. Cause I know that there's collectors here that don't have access to this stuff because most of it's Japanese only. So so I'm more than happy to be able to resell it. And then you don't have to pay the Japanese shipping fee because I brought it back in a suitcase. So it kind of works out really well. The other Otedama set I wanted to show you is actually brand new for December. These just came out when I was in Japan. So this is a like Christmas or holiday set of the outers, the four outers. And they're wearing these really cute little holiday outfits. So you have Pluto, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They're wearing the matching outfits in their coordinating colors, and they are just so cute. I just love their cute little faces. Like I have so many of these back there. I have a mountain of Otedanas because they're so adorable. I love that they are all super soft and they're really small and very lightweight. So it's really easy to collect these. Uh, these ones I think came out last year. So I might, I might actually have a box with these in them already, but these are from the first series of holiday <laughs> Otedamas. So I also grabbed these cause they had these in stock. So we have Luna over here. She's so cute. And then we have Chibiusa and 
Usagi. So that was everything from the Sailor Moon store, the Nintendo store, the Pokemon Center, and the Sailor Moon Museum, as well as Mandrake's that I hit up and a bunch of vintage used stores in Akihabara, uh, game centers, pretty much anywhere that I could find Sailor Moon merchandise. I hope that you enjoyed this huge haul from Japan. I know that it was very long. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos over on the YouTube channel, but I have been posting a lot on the Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram yet, that's where you can hit me up for sales and for trades. That's also where you can see things that I post every single day, whether that's news, especially American merchandise. I post about that stuff all the time. And I also post all of my merchandise collections and reviews there ASAP. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Ciao.